This is the lock that could help prevent burglars from breaking into your home. And this is the device that could stop drunk drivers from starting their cars. And who are the creators of these award-winning inventions? None other than secondary school students Stephen Lau, Ivan Lau, and Cody Yu. The three young inventors competed against 1,500 other young inventors in the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair last week. Stephen and Ivan won a second award in the engineering category for their invention, the 21st Century Miracle Lock. So Stephen, what's wrong with the locks we use at the moment? Actually, more than 90% of the people in the world are using the lock with the same structure, which was invented in year 1848. And now there's a method called lock bumping, which can open more than 90% of them. So we are going to demonstrate bumping to you. This is a normal lock that you are using now. This is the correct key, so it can open. Now I insert a bump key inside it. It can turn at the beginning, but when I give the impact to the lock, the lock opens. This is the core section of the lock that you are using now. Uh, the materials of the pins using that is the brass. Uh, there, uh, if there is an impact to a key, the force will transmit to this pin inside the lock and they will separate. If they don't have any pin spot to this string line, the lock can be opened without using a coax key. Um, our design is to change the pins from the brass to the magnet. So when someone wants to use bump key to open the lock, the pins will stick together and they will move together so they won't separate by a uh, bump key and they will still stick together and brought the shearing knife so the cylinder cannot be turned unless you have a correct key. Stephen and Ivan came up with their idea after undertaking some independent research and that was the case with Cody too. After reading about drink driving accidents in the newspaper, Cody developed this device that makes drivers pass a breath test before starting their cars. Now let me demonstrate. First, we we'll switch on the button. Then turn the key. You must put both hands on the steering wheel. Then get alcohol test up puff. When your light is on, that means the vehicle is already started. Puff, if we use the seat. Like using this air pump, the vehicle cannot be started. Next, I use this tissue with alcohol and put it on the sensor. That means I'll be drinking in over a limit. Repeat the following step. The vehicle cannot be started. You can, you can see a red light. That means you have drinking and cannot start your car. For the South China Morning Post, this is Richard Pine.